that now Coach Doden sent me some questions and he put all the answers on there. A few of mine I didn't even know the answer to, so maybe we'll find them out. Okay, what team was Wapsie playing when a spectator walked out from the cornfield and onto the playing field, picked up the football and disappeared back into the cornfield? Edco is correct. Was the football found and returned? You guys are all well versed in your Wapsie Valley trivia. Uh, what two football players, and if you, if you look back there closely, you got the answer to this. Many of the answers we found out tonight, by the way. Uh, two football players were known as the two horsemen and were pictured in the uh, pigskin preview with two real horses. Yep. And Mark Owens is visiting his daughter in California, otherwise he would be here. And I don't know Ron Rowling. Uh, what Wapsie Valley football player made a snow angel while being interviewed in the 19, after the 1997 state title? John McCown. And, uh, Okay. The two horsemen. I'm Pat Miller, by the way. I played quarterback on the 74 team. We're playing Denver that year. I walk, I call play in the huddle. I call a 25. It wasn't a 12, 13, 14, 15. So we didn't run a 25 very often. It's a counter play. I walk up to the line of scrimmage and I'm looking at the defense. And behind me I hear, rolling, which way do I go? <laughs> rolling, follow me, but go the other way. <laughs> well, I was a sophomore and those guys were seniors. So I didn't call time out. I went ahead and snapped the ball and turned around. Nobody there. <laughs> So I just made the best of it, and that was the longest run of my career. <laughs> Follow me, but go the other way. <laughs> okay, uh, which Wapsie Valley football coach was a bad boy for the Dodgers? Doden. Coach Doden. And by the way, they are the best team in baseball. Yeah. They are, they're very good. And the Cubs are not. Okay, which Wapsie Valley football coach played semi-pro football? Davis. Coach Davis, you guys are really good at this. 100%. Which current Wapsie Valley football coach played for both Iowa State and you and I? Coach Bergman. Okay. How many, and, and Connor O'Brien joined us for the first part of this, but, but he's not here. And, and we do have a, a good collection of Wapsie Valley tailbacks. Wapsie, tailback, stand up. Let's get the tailback, stand up. There we go. We've got three Wapsie Valley tailbacks. Yeah. Being the Wapsie Valley tailback at Wapsie, when you dot the I, you are the guy. I mean, you are. And Connor was here, that made four. I talked to Chris Jans, he's just too busy recruiting right now. Uh, tried to get Trevor Shannon here, he lives in Minnesota. Tried to get as many tailbacks here, as I, and I got these guys, so thanks for coming. And the rest of you guys, did, you did your part too. <laughs> Don't want to insult anybody. But we give the ball to the tailback, a lot. Okay, how many 300 yard rushing games did Connor have? He had three, which is, I think, quite a lot. But three 300-yard rushing games in a season is quite a lot. And by the way, the offensive line that season had no returning starters. The only returning starter didn't think we were going to be any good, so he didn't come out. And uh, five new guys, and we had to recruit from the, from the backs to get enough linemen. Okay, now how many Shrine Bowl players do we have? And I had that on there. Kind of because Jake is going to be in the Shrine Bowl, BJ's played in it, Mitch has played in it. We've had a lot of Shrine Bowl players. Uh, any guesses? I wrote down some names and I, I was one short, somebody told me. Six? Eleven, more than that. Less than that. 
<laughs> okay, there were there were thir we've had 13 Shrine Bowl players. Okay, that's pretty good. And I'm not going to name them all off. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I know you're one. And I'm Matthew. Matthew sold the more, most advertisement of any of the players in his Shrine Bowl, got to wear the number one. So I do remember a few things. I remember some stuff, not everything. Uh, former football players, currently college basketball coaches. Brooks and Chris, Chris Jans. Uh, what object did the lion in 74 lift and hold in the air? It was it a Honda? I forgot what kind of car it was. Honda Civic. Honda Civic. Coach South made in the car. And that picture, is that back there, Jerry? That's back there. So make sure you look at that before you go. What record does Wapsie Valley hold in our class set during five, the five-game playoff championship run in 2012? What record? Louder? Point scored. Okay. That was 224 points in the playoffs. Tyler O'Neill is in the Iowa High School Athletic Association record book for something he accomplished against Edco. They show up again. They rear their ugly heads. In 2012, with the help from his teammates. How many? Three? Three punt returns for touchdowns? Pretty awesome. And uh, Weepy always would come curl back there and just level somebody. I remember that. Okay. How many games in what years was where it was Wapsie's longest regular season winning streak? How many games in what years? 41. 86 to 90. Way to go. They said it earlier. Okay, they said it. Okay, that's good. Tyler was impressing me. Uh, how many championship finals has Wapsie played in? Seven and one. We all know that. It's on the board. Uh, what Wapsie Valley family has both fa have both father and son played in and won a state title game? Mitch, Mitch, and Austin, Mitch and Austin Matthias. And the next one, Gary gave away. The first season was three and three, and Gary scored the touchdown, so he answered two questions when he was up here. Let me get this turned over. Okay. What Wapsie Valley family has the most sons and grandsons play football for Wapsie now? I put this on there because they were here tonight. What family? The five, there's five trotters. Now, there's a lot with four and three, and if there's another one with five, let me know and correct me. Okay, what former Wapsie Valley quarterback is currently at their athletic director at a university? Leon Costello, and where is it? What is it? Somewhere in Montana. Montana, okay. Uh, what passing and receiving combination, and neither one of them are here tonight, so you can say anything you want. Uh, okay, all, they both own the all-time season and career passing records for Wapsie Valley. Who are they? Nope. Yep, yeah, Chris Forsythe and Todd Block. That's for the season. John, and John does have the playoff record for the most yards in a playoff game. Okay, uh, who, whose famous quote is it, run the 12 and punt the football? You wouldn't know that unless you were in the huddle with him. Uh, I was on the uh, Central College 74 team getting my ass kicked every day. Uh, which former Wapsie Valley receiver is a coach at a major university? He spoke tonight. Scott Southmade. Former Wapsie Valley players currently playing football. That's BJ and Stone. And uh, former... There. Thank you. What former Wapsie player, Division I players that played for the big schools? Division I. Uh, that's, you and I is not Division One. Raleigh Kane and Roger Youngblood. There you go. But you and I. 
Okay, thank you for participating. Anybody get them all right? Yep. <laughs> Carol will give you a t-shirt if you did. She's got a t-shirt for you. Okay, last chance if anybody wants to speak. You guys have great bladders. Mine, mine couldn't last the whole time. For, for, thanks for everybody for coming. Thanks coaches. Thanks players. Uh, yeah, you guys have been sitting there a long time. Uh, we're not going to run you out. You can stay around as long as you want. Enjoy the evening. Uh, any young guys want to talk or anything? No?